Okay, so let's do the flip up targets the easy way. So first, let's look at how it was done uh, in Unite in future future pinball. So if I zoom on this area, you have two targets here, two very targets, and you have you have some guys. Um, and if I move it, you see that there are four of them which were uh, on each on each others, and they have different textures. And if I go into the table textures, the texture manager, you have this one. So actually, it was just some walls with different texture which were turned on or off. So it's not really realistic, and we will try to do better. So uh, as we are in texture manager, we won't need those texture anymore. We can delete it. Okay, let's delete them. <coughs> and. We will import 3D model objects. So let's save under a new name because we will heavily modify it. And let's remove what we don't need anymore. So we won't need this. We won't need this. Oops, I can catch it. This one, we won't need this one. And we won't need this one. We won't need the targets neither and those guys we will leave it just for reference to position our object and we will remove it later so i prepared um, 3d models and i prepare i have separated it in three parts so if we look back at how the target was made there is a, f a bracket here a front target and the flip up target as we discussed in the previous video. So I have two, two objects, three objects, sorry. So the first object is the flip-up bracket. Here, this is how it will look. It will handle two uh, flip-up targets assembly. I have the flip-up bottom, so this is the front target being hit from the, uh, from the buff, from buff the the targets, um, the previous target from the for the ball, and as you can see, the p the pivot is placed right on the hinge with the x axis on the hinge, on what I want to be the hinge. So we will discuss uh, on the on the next video for the it, it it will be important later, and the same for the for the top flip up target. Here it is. All right and it has uh, texture coordinates so that we can import this dark, this texture I made oh sorry and this one and also for the bottom all right so let's create our objects so let's uh, reopen this and save it convert it as ms3d so here is for the flip up bracket. So if you remember, MS3D is the object file, file name to import it using FPM editor, which will be imported in United in the future pinball. So for the flip up button. And for the top all right so we now have our three objects ready ready and let's create the, the future pinball model from this so First, we will create the flipper bracket, and it it will be an ornament as it won't need a specific uh, <coughs> sorry it won't it won't need specific collider. We want we don't want the ball to interact with it and to save uh, to to increase the speed of the simulation. So it's a flipper bracket. 
All right, let's take a look at what is its how and draw the ball near it. It's a good size and it doesn't need collision, so let's save it. And we will save it as flip up bracket. Save. Let's do another one for the flip up button. Uh, and I call it simple because we will create another one later. Uh, so it this one will be a trigger because we want it to trigger some uh, things and more important it will keep the axis the main axis the pivot we set in the 3d model uh, at the same place so let's open it and it's the flip up button flip up button yes so this is this one good if we draw a ball near it correct size and let's set a collision because this is what the ball will eat so if we hit per, per, per coll polygon collision actually there will be if I uh, shoot it in model frame this is how it will look so it will have uh, here 28 triangles for testing collisions and we can simplify it because only the front will receive the collision so let's remove per collision and add a collision shape and the collision shape will be a, a, a simple box which will collide the ball so um, here is how it works you can enter here half the width so I think it's uh, 10 here let's enter 10 10 10 and let's say how the, the thing is, is going up, right? Okay, so this will be only maybe one or one and a half. Now let's let's set one. Okay, and drop it down so it's in Y and let's say minus five or maybe minus eight, minus nine. Is it correct? Yes and a little bit in Z one okay perfect so these shapes will be important and used as a collider so this is important to set it up and you can add multiple for only one shape we won't need it need one more up in here so let's save this It will flip up bottom simple okay and another one for the top model so flip up top simple also it will also be a trigger for it not to change the pivot we set this one is important let's import it the top simple and the correct shape and right now we won't need per, um, sh collision shape for now because <coughs> the ball will not direct it and we won't do any physics on it so let's just save it like that flip up top okay so now we have our model and textures that we can import into the model manager inside future pinball so let's import it three of them okay and let's set it up inside future pinball so um, first let's create an ornament and go inside this and let's find our ornament and it's flip a bracket so as you can see it has the correct shape we want and the correct size we will need to rotate it so minus 16 a little bit more right seems correct and let's put it in place 
it's around here somewhere around here let's rotate it a little bit less okay okay it seems correct so now we won't need those guides anymore let's delete it right uh, well maybe keep this one for it not to for the ball to keep going if something is uh, missing and as always if you don't need smooth points remove it okay so save it and now let's uh, let's set up two more objects so uh, we did trigger so let's trigger and we want the flip up button all right so the same rotation so it's 345 degrees okay and let's place it right here so now we want it to be uh, not on the play field but above actually we want it to be I think something around 20 so let's create a copy of a positioning surface let's call it flip up bottom surface check that it's not collidable and not renderable and let's set it to uh, 20 actually 26 seems correct uh, how, how much we will make let's put 22 to test okay right and let's set it up as the surface of this object okay and let's copy it because we will need two of it okay so we also can set the texture up and we have to import the texture I made so let's go to the table texture manager and import the free textures here okay and set up the texture here and it's called flip up button all right also for this one should have done before copying okay save and let's copy one of it move it right here and change the model to flip up top okay and let's put the flip up top right here so this one will also need to be placed a little bit more ups so we will create another surface here let's call it flip up oops flip up top surface and change its value to something like 32 actually 10 millimeters more and don't forget to set it up for this one oh, flip up top oh, it was not set. top surface oops sorry I was changing the texture so it's flip up top surface right and actually this one is not the texture Elvira it's flip up vampire on this side let's copy it and set up the second one all right and set the text the correct texture so save it and we can just launch it inside future pinball for test maybe so hit F5 it's loading and let's take a look at how it's uh, set up in the positions okay so there is a problem with the textures loading right now but don't pay attention to it under uh, future pinball okay and so let's take a look so 
the, the bracket is quite uh, it's quite high but uh, the two targets seems correctly placed uh, together well uh, each one another we will replace it in uh, future pinball so this is not a problem and uh, in United pinball we will uh, move the bracket down so it seems correct to me let's exit and try to import it uh, right away inside United pinball okay and it's a new version of the table so let's open it and I will pause for you okay and let's move to see how it looks inside Un future pin united pinball and it's correct so let's just open the uh, table explorer to move the bracket down as we said and let's just use the gizmo to do it okay move around just to see how it looks and it seems quite good right now all right let's keep it this way and reopen the table explorer open the bracket select the bracket again oh which one is it okay and save the modified transform as it seems correct to me okay so now let's go for some script of this and I exit right okay so there is a lot of ways to do it by script I will show you one but first let's rename a little bit our targets so this switch this one is the switch number if I remember correctly let's open the documentation and go to the switch numbers the switch locations and this one is 53 so let's rename it switch 53 let's rename this one switch uh, 54 indeed and we will name the flip up targets with the name of the switches and the first one is a switch uh, uh, well, the name of the switch that has to be triggered when the flip up is uh, up and it will be oops sorry um, bop, 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 55 and 56 okay let's save it by the way forgot to mention into the change log there is a new version and we will just write we worked flip up target area okay so let's go script it <coughs> actually uh, we may think that we could just uh, create a new behavior and add it the regular way we add switches but uh, as you can see the add switch takes the, another parameter and it's just an assembly issue we can't pass it pass a um, behavior name using this a string between a runtime compiled script and uh, the uh, united pinball so never mind we will do it um, by ourselves so we want to uh, create a specific behavior so let's uh, just create another one a new, a new toy we will put it in the toy area even if it's not a real toy and we will call it Elvira Flipper <coughs> and we will 
rename it flip up simple because we will do a, a more uh, advanced one on a future video. So it defines the behavior of Elvira and the party monster flip up targets. Actually, flip up assembly. And it should be applied to the front target. Okay? So it will not inherit a solenoid because we will apply to the front target. And as we said in the previous video, we want this target to trigger uh, to trigger the switch uh, on the simple uh, the simple implementation. We also could, uh, by the way, inside the <coughs> United Pinball, add fake targets just for. Um, Lift targets just for some more realism, but uh, let's uh, maybe it's um, target. Uh, no, which one is it? Actually, we will copy an existing one. It's just like no, not the drop the drop target, just like this one. Okay, so let's copy this one. And just put it here. It's just for some to add more realism, and we can oops. Actually I should block it. Now that So in the real table, it's those one will trigger, but we just want us for us we just want this to trigger the switches. So let's go back to the script. <coughs> we will go. So we will create our, our behavior, and it will inherit a basic switch because we want to implement a new switch behavior. And as it will be uh, affected to the front target. So what will we need? So first, we will need a uh, the switch. Uh, no. <coughs> the there is an M slot which is already embedded in the basic switch uh, behavior in the basic switch script. So uh, this will be the one triggered for, from the front target. So for the first one, it's 53 but we we will also need to add a new a new integer and this will be the flip up switch slot so actually it's the switch we have to trigger when the the flip up target is up and so it's okay let's we will also need of course the game object itself the flip up target so for the first one it will be this one 55 and uh, again for the second assembly let's initialize it to new and of course we will need to set this up so we will need a function to access it from the ex from the outside and it will be just a uh, a set of functions so taking the first slot we want to affect to it the flip up slot and the name of the flip up target so actually we, we, we as we renamed it as switch 55 and switch 56 we won't need it uh, we won't need the, the name we will rebuild it so let's just uh, affect the slot so inside bakes basic switch there is a set slot number function which will do everything we need for the first slot and we will just copy the flip up target slot flip up switch slot so we will set it to the, the parameter past here <laughs> okay and let's just uh, 
get our flip up game object. So the game object will be. So we need to find an object called switch plus this slot. All right. So we also could trigger some. Uh, Play some uh, things if there is a problem. So using uh, a tails dot up three d debug. So remember, we want to to set an error and uh, say that game object is not found. Right plus this slot. Okay, and there is a, an, of, an additional parameter to set the priority for the verbosity. Okay, so here it's a, it should be right. But, of course, we have to affect it. And let's do it in the toy initialization. It will be a game object. Dot find. So we want to affect it to the front targets. This one will be switch 54. And we want um, to add a component, and the type of the component is our new script behavior. Elvira flip up simple. Okay. And as this Unity function add component returns an object of this kind, of this tip, we can directly set call our function setup so it will be slot 53 and the flip up should trigger slot 55 all right so let me check it and for the second one switch 54 will trigger 56 all right so Setup should should be all right. So now, what will we do with it? So inside basic switch, actually the basic switch, uh, it just triggers a switch when the ball enters in the collide it and um, trigger off the switch when the ball exit the collision. The collision. <coughs> and so there are two functions. Uh, but we will just use one right now. It will be called, and it's called. So sorry. Um, we will override it. It's called. Oh, sorry. Cubic void override. And it. Oh, we have some problem here. remember in which way it is so sorry about it okay override boy that's correct and we will override the on collision enter this take a collider and the collider it's the other collider we won't need it but it's the prototype of the function so we have to set it up Remember to use base dot on collision enter to keep the base the base uh, class behave function to call it. This one will trigger itself the switch uh, the first slot switch which we set here. Okay, and here we will do the things we want to do with the flip up target here. So, we also need a boolean just to keep the state of the flip up target and we will set it to up and by default our object comes off, so it's down. So, okay. 
okay and so when we arrive on the collision on the collision if it's already up we don't have anything to do more than trigger the switch so we will return the collision if not We have to tell that it will be up and what we want to do is just simply rotate this object as we stated here and we want to pass it directly from here to here so uh, we also have to, to test that the flip up object is not new And now we can do it uh, using the flip up object. So there is a transform, but as in Unity 5, there you will have to use get component of transform type. So this will prevent you to change the script when we will move to Unity 5 and uh, so with this we will there is a function on a unity function which is called rotate if i remember correctly um, so for now let's just use transform and we will do it later so transform dot rotate and this function comes with two uh, different uh, prototypes one with a vector and one with three floats for each axis so this is what we will do and we want to rotate it around x because our pivot is uh, is set here on x so it will be around a uh, hundred degrees and minus for the this the for the rotation uh, axis and oh it's flat okay and right now so right now if we enter the collision it will it should rotate the correct flip up if everything is set up okay correctly and we also need to um, to tell the round that uh, to tell the table that uh, the the close switch has been uh, reached. So well, actually the flip up switch has been closed. So let's do it. And it's uh, the X manager table manager. Sorry, there is a singleton. It's just like we did for uh, here. All right. For the solenoid callback but right now it's to set up a, a switch and we will have to set switch so these functions take two parameters and the first one is if i remember correctly the slot of the switch so it will be the flip up one and the state so we want it to be true when we are at this point so let's save it and try to launch it just to, to see what it's going on okay so let me launch it oops sorry just poked okay so it seems to be to have there is a problem here and it's because if I go in unity and on collision enter I made a mistake here it's not collider but collision so let's change it inside the override okay save and Launch it again.
Okay, so it's um, it's launched. Um, we can see a little problem here. Our our uh, custom error has been triggered, and we will just check why it has been triggered. So uh, actually, I made a mistake right here, and we have to test that it's new to display it. So it means that it has been uh, correctly correctly set. Sorry about that. So let's check if our uh, our objects are working, and we can use well start a game first. Okay. Open the slot explorer and use the debugger to, to launch it. So slot 55 is okay because the first one has been triggered and it stays open. And let's just check if uh, when I launch on this one, the 54 will should blink and 56 should be open. And I will zoom to for you to to look to, to, to see to see it. Sorry. So let's just send a ball on this and it's okay. So actually uh, there is still things missing and it's the behavior of the, the, the solenoid to kick the, to kick the flipper back. So let's quit this. And let's add this behavior. So we will just do the same as as for this the boogeyman solenoid callback. It's the same function, but we have to set it up inside the start function. So let's copy this. We have to override the start function. We have to call the the base. So it's not solenoid, but basic switch. Don't need this. And this line tells that it to call the function. And we have to rename it. It will be flip up target solenoid, uh, uh, reset solenoid, callback. And Let's copy just the prototype of this function. Use the name, copy the name. And according to the documentation inside, um, let's uh, look at the solenoid, I'm looking for a solenoid, maybe you can see, solenoids and flashers, and it is the 22, the flip up reset. So it should be triggered by slot 22 and we check that it's the case. Also we only care about the on function of the solenoid. And let's do it. So we just want to do the opposite of this. Actually this. So let's do it. And we want to factorize a little bit. So let's create another function. It can be private. So it will be uh, so set uh, flip up state. And it will take a boolean. Okay. So, uh, what we want for it? So, and we will just here. We want to set it up with a true because we want it to be up. Let's call this boolean up. And. Here for the back for the solenoid callback, we want to set it off. It means down. So if flip up is not been set, so if the 
pip up object has not been found and if the up the current up state is different is equal to the one we want to to put we don't want to do something we just want it to be changed so m up is equal to up now after we set it and if it's up we want to rotate it in the clock a uh, counterclockwise way and if not we want it to rotate back to set it down and we also have to set the switch to the new value which is the current up value all right so uh, it should work let's save it and try it again Okay, and let's try it, starting a new game. Okay, it's up for this one. And, oh, okay. So now let's lose the ball because the ROM should trigger it back. Oh, there is. It has been set up back, so let's zoom in it. It seems correct. Let's try again by zooming. I'll set okay for the first one, for the second one, and let's lose the ball. And it should be kicked back. Okay. So, there is only an audio missing, there is no uh, sound callback, but we will add uh, on the future video when we will do a more complex behavior because uh, here, either, even if I uh, send a, a weak ball, the flip up is, uh, is set up as it, it should not do that. So, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.